Hey everybody, today on this episode, I wanna talk a little bit about rank. What is it and how does it compare with all the other services when we look at US Public Health Service? So we'll be using the guide and we'll put our focus there during this session. Today we're using the Uniform Service Rank Chart here to take a look at the rank of the U.S. Public Health Service and how it relates to the rank structure for all the other services. From this level, you can kind of see that there are many similarities in the ranks and we'll focus in more closely to take a look at the differences between the ranks. One thing to look at this level is that there is a grade numbering system down the left side of the chart. The grades go from 01 to 02, 03, 04, 05, 06, 07, 08, 09, and 10. So there are 10 grade levels for officers. And then the rank bar on the right hand side doesn't have the titles of the rank because the names of the rank are placed within each block on the table. All right, so let's take a closer look. Now that we've zoomed in here on this uniform service rank chart, you can see that on the left side of the chart with the blue at the top, those are called the C services and the reddish color, rust color, I guess you call over on the right hand side is called the land services. Within each of those, we'll look at the C services first. There's the Department of Health and Human Services, Public Health Service, there's the Department of Commerce's National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. There's the Department of Homeland Security's Coast Guard. And then the Department of Defense has the Navy. So those fall under what they call sea service ranks. On the right hand side, the rest of the Department of Defense services fall under what they call land services. And that includes Army, Air Force, and Marine Corps. Next, we'll look at the grades one through 10. The O1 grade in the sea services is called ensign. In land service is called second lieutenant. The grade O2 in the sea services is called lieutenant junior grade. In the land services is called first lieutenant. At grade three, the rank for sea services is lieutenant and for land services is captain. For grade four, the rank for sea services is lieutenant commander, and the rank for land services is major. At grade five, the sea services rank is commander, and the land services rank is lieutenant colonel. At grade six, the sea services rank is captain, and the land services rank is colonel. And then grades seven through 10 are the admirals and generals, and there are four levels of each. So at grade seven, the sea service rank is rear admiral, lower half. In the land services, it's brigadier general. At grade eight, the sea service rank is rear admiral. And for the land services, it's major general. At grade nine, for sea services, the rank is vice admiral. And for land services, it's lieutenant general. And for grade 10, for sea services, it's admiral. And for land services, it's general. So that was a lot. And I'll just tell you a little story about my, my rank path. <laughs> so I started out in the U.S. Air Force as a second lieutenant. They also called me Butter Bar. <laughs> and I got promoted to first lieutenant and captain. It was at the 03 grade captain rank that I transferred my commission over to the U.S. Public Health Service. So then I became a lieutenant, although I was still at the 03 grade. And then I promoted through 04, Lieutenant Commander, 05, Commander, and that is the place where I retired. But it was my goal to reach 
the 06 captain. And if I had done that, I probably would have spent so much more time at the ranks of lieutenant and captain than most people do in their service. So just kind of a funny story. Another thing that I wanted to point out about the rank structure is that in the land services, the rank goes brigadier general, major general, lieutenant general, and general. And so our way for remembering that was be my little general. B for brigadier, my for major, little for lieutenant, and then general. So if that helps you to remember them, that's a tip. All right, so I hope this overview of the rank and grade structure is helpful to you and gives you some clarity on the ranks and also the difference between the, the land and sea services because a lot of people don't understand that. If you like this video, please like it and share it.